that is both hideously disturbing and great news for the fat-summed community. <laughs> yeah, this is AI makes non-invasive -invi mind reading possible by turning thoughts into text. So I didn't realize we'd already reached the, the, the invasive mind reading stage. Yeah. I don't know, I, I feel like I've been in a coma. I, I thought we were still working on actual mind reading. We're already at the consent issue. Yeah. So, so, it, but so the, you can do it. If you've got the thing in your brain, you can type now with your brain. Or you can type with your brain. So it's an AI-based decoder. And the problem had always been that they're using uh, fMRI, functional magnetic resonance imaging. And, um, and, there, and there was always a time lag between the thoughts uh, and, the, and the tracking, it's very complicated, but there's a 10-second time lag. But they've got rid of that by using numbers instead of the, uh, to represent the semantic meaning of speech rather than the specific words. Right. So that sped the whole thing up. So you think something, and it comes out with broadly what it is. So they, they, they made people listen to podcasts for 16 hours in a, with a scanner, hopefully my yeah. podcast, Weekly Skeptic, or the current thing. But they, uh, they also made them... Uh, they listen to a new story. This is quite st shocking. They listen to a story and they, um, they imagine telling the story and about half the time the text closely and sometimes precisely match the intending, intended meanings of the original words. Yeah. So it's all a bit complicated, but basically, yeah. It, it's so it's, it's a, it, what it reminded me of, if I've grasped it correctly, it's a little bit like early sound recording. So it, you would like... Um, you s music creates a, um, a series of vibrations in a stylus which leaves a track in a record. And then when you want to play that record, you just reverse the process. So the vibrations in the, in the record are picked up by the stylus and come out through the speaker, which is where the microphone was the first time. Do you see what I mean? That just made me more confused. Yeah. Your so, analogy has so, not helped. <laughs> well, well they, they look at what the brain it looks like when right, it's right, right. listening to something. Okay. And then when the brain repeats that story itself... The AI understands what the brain looks oh, the pattern. like and, I and, see. and translates that. Pattern. It's something like that, but it's done, yeah. it's done with numbers instead of... But it, one thing is interesting is that it struggled with pronouns, probably because woke programmers have confused uh, it. That's my theory. <laughs> but there's a funny bit here where it says, we take very seriously the concerns that it could be used for bad purposes. I'm sure, yeah, that sounds fine. I'm sure, <laughs> I can't see any problems there. It is incredible, though, and it will definitely have an impact on understanding what language is itself, I think. Yeah. The, you but, know, that's always being changed. You know? Yeah, the people out there are wondering... I wonder what Louis Schaefer's take on this. Go ahead. And I have no clue. I'm not smart enough to understand Maybe this Maybe we stuff. could rig you up to one of these machines and it turns out you, know you have what? some articulate thoughts. You know what? You know what? I would take that as an insult. But I'm going to play along like everything's fine. Well, this one may be more in your wheelhouse, Louis. A blast from the past.